Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, October the 26th, 2011. It's week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 53. Revelation chapter 5, verse 1 through 10. And the Song of the Three Young Men, verse 29 through 34. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Alleluia. Psalm 53. Fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Their deeds are corrupt and depraved. There is no good person left. God looks down from heaven on the peoples of the earth to see if any are wise, if any seek God. All have left the right path, depraved, every one. There is no good person left, no, not even one. Will the evildoers not understand? They eat up my people as though they were eating bread, and they never pray to God. See how they tremble, to, for, tremble with fear, without cause for fear. For God will scatter the bones of the wicked. They are ashamed, and God rejects them. Oh, that Israel's salvation might come from Zion, when God delivers the people from bondage, and then Jacob, Leah, and Rachel will be glad, and Israel shall rejoice. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Fools have said in their hearts, there is no God above. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Revelation, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll, and written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look onto it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb, standing as if it had been slaughtered, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth, he went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell before the Lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sing a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slaughtered, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests, serving our God, and they will reign on the earth. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth, 
Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia, glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise, glory to you. Alleluia, the song of the three young men. Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise, glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim, we praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, source of all being, we praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Alleluia. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> 